Hi everyone. Welcome to New School Yoga Club. Welcome back if you joined us last week and a big welcome if you're new here. And know that you can go back and practice week one if you'd like to. So we'll start just the way we started last week in a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you today. For me, it's a cross-legged seat. You might prop your hips up with pillows. You might sit on the edge of a couch, whatever works for you today. So I'll give you a second to find your comfortable seat and get settled in. When you're there, sit up nice and tall. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. Start to tune into the breath here and come into this moment, arrive here on your mat. Notice how you feel today. And I invite you to set an intention for your practice today. So last time we set an intention together to be present for our practice. But you might also just decide how you'd like to feel throughout your practice or by the time practice is over. Or maybe you set an intention to let go of something, of stress, let go of anger, something that's weighing you down today. Set an intention that makes sense for you. And if that's feeling like too much pressure and you don't know what intention to set, that's okay too. Just be here with us and breathe. Relax your jaw. As you exhale, release any tension from your neck and shoulders. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes slowly, just taking in your surroundings and your space. And we'll see We'll sit, stay, we'll stay in our comfortable seat and move through our warm up to start. Okay, the warm up's very similar to last week. So we'll take a big inhale and bring both arms overhead. As we exhale, we'll come to a side stretch over to the right, bringing the left arm overhead. But today we'll keep it moving a little bit. So we'll inhale and come back to center. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale, center. You might look up here. Exhale to the left. just release back to center. Awesome. Okay, from here we'll take our seated twist. So on an inhale, bring both arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the right, and this we will hold just like last week. So again, use your left hand to press it gently against your uh, right knee or thigh. Your right hand is just gently touching the floor behind you if that's comfortable. You might look out over your right shoulder. And remember to be nice and tall through the spine here. So notice if you're starting to hunch, grow tall through the spine. Good, on your next exhale, go ahead and release Come back to center. On your next inhale, bring both arms overhead. 
and we'll switch sides. So exhale as you twist to the left, same shape on the other side, sitting up nice and tall. And it can be easy to forget to breathe here, so make sure you are breathing deeply, bring awareness to your breath. Beautiful. On your next exhale, we'll come back to center. Okay, awesome job. So again, we'll come to a tabletop position. So coming to hands and knees. Really take your time getting there. There's no rush. All right, set up your alignment. So um, what's this? Shoulder over wrist, hips over knees. Okay, nice flat back. Spread the fingers wide. Long line from the crown of your head all the way to your tailbone. Take a breath here. And we'll move through cat-cow as we did last week. So on an inhale, look up. Drop the belly. And as you exhale, curve the spine. Tuck the chin, coming into cat pose. Keep that going with your own breath. Inhale to look up. Exhale, cat. Two more times. Inhale to look up. Exhale, curve the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone gently. Last one, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And come back to a neutral spine, flat back, tabletop position. Okay, from here, we are going to transition into downward facing dog. So again, make sure your fingers are spread wide, evenly distribute the weight through all your fingers. Check that your elbow crease is shining forward. You might need to make an adjustment there. Okay, when you're ready, tuck the toes and we'll bring the hips high and back. Good, check to see that your feet are about hips width apart. Stabilize through the arms and shoulders here. Press through your hands. Let the head just fall, relax. You might even shake the head, yes and no, to loosen it out a bit. Feel a stretch through the back of the legs. You might even want to pedal it out here by bending one knee and then the other. Or you might just find Stillness for our last couple of breaths. Okay, when you're ready, lift the right foot up and swing it through between your hands like we did yesterday when we, or not yesterday, but last week when we came into our low lunge. But today, try keeping the knee up and we'll come into a high lunge shape today. So again, find some stability here. You might need to widen the stance a little bit. Check that your knee is over your ankle. Okay, when you feel ready, go ahead and rise up, bringing the hands off the mat, bringing the arms and hands overhead in a high lunge. We'll hold here for a couple of breaths. Beautiful. From here, we'll come into warrior two. 
So you'll drop the back heel down, okay? So your foot is turned in slightly and your front knee is over your ankle, again, good. Our arms will stretch out wide, running parallel with your mat. You want a nice long line here from your head to your tail. You can gaze out over your right hand, the hand that's out in front. This is a strong pose. Notice if you're tense in your shoulders, go ahead and drop them down. Take a couple deep breaths in warrior two. Beautiful, okay. We'll transition by picking the left heel up, coming back into high lunge just briefly as you bring the hands back down to the mat. Okay, come back into downward facing dog. Take your time. Hold here for a breath. And we'll repeat those poses on the other side. So this time, bring your left leg up and back. Swing that left foot all the way up between your hands and find your high lunge. Okay, check that your knee is over your ankle and not coming out in front of it. When you're ready, when you feel stable and balanced, bring the arms overhead and hold here, gazing out in front of you. Okay, from here we'll come into warrior two on the other side. So drop the back heel down, okay. Your foot is almost perpendicular, no, that's not right, almost parallel to the back edge of your mat, but you might turn it in slightly as well. The front knee is lined up with your ankle, arms are reaching out wide, nice and tall through the torso. Gaze out over your front hand. Holding the strong warrior two pose. Beautiful. From here, bringing the hands back down to the mat, coming into high lunge briefly, and then back into downward facing dog. Okay. Take three deep breaths here in Downward Facing Dog. And from here, drop the knees down to the mat and come to a seat on your mat. We'll take one more pose here today. This is a bound angle pose. Some of my students like to call it butterfly pose, if you will. So we'll bring the soles of our feet together. You can give yourself a lot of space here. You don't need to have the ankles tight into your body. So making a diamond shape with your legs. Sit up nice and tall. And you might find that this is enough of a stretch, and that's fine. Or you might choose to fold forward. So to do that, we'll prepare by inhaling, growing nice and tall and long in the spine. And then as you exhale, you can hinge from your hips, just rest your hands gently on your legs or feet until you find that stretch in your hips. 
You don't need to fold over or hunch here. Remain long through the spine and look out in front of you, almost like you're looking at your reflection in a pond or something like that. Breathe here. Okay, and when you're ready, release, sit up tall, and come back into the comfortable seat you started your practice with today. So that might be cross-legged, you might be sitting on your heels, you know the deal, you can sit on the edge of a chair or a couch, but get comfortable to close our practice today. So when you find your seat, sit up nice and tall, Close your eyes again. And just like we did at the beginning of practice, observe your breath and notice how you feel. If you set an intention at the beginning of practice today, return to that intention. And I like to end by taking three deep breaths together. Take a big inhale with me. And let something go on your exhale. Good. Inhale again. Let go. Big exhale. Okay, one more time. Take a big inhale. And a great big exhale, let it all go. And then go ahead and open your eyes. Awesome, I'm so glad you joined me and I'll see you next time, bye.